Hello and welcome to Indie Wednesday. My name is Notorious and welcome to this first episode of this small mini series of Cliff Empire. We're going to start the game and in the meantime the game is going to tell you what it's all about and after that I'm going to tell you something more. So let's start a new game. After a nuclear war in the past decade the surface of the earth was covered with a layer of radioactive mist. Several thousand people found shelter on an orbital station. Those who stayed had time to build artific artificial cliffs to give a chance for a future generation to return home. Alright, so we are going to play kind of standard and we are going to take a look at the game in the tutorial. So we're going to do sandbox mode, uh, default, and the tower defense. Well, I'm going to do it all standard in the tutorial mode. First thing first, uh, time is running. We need to build a storage house. At my first try of this game, I didn't really notice what to do here. So if you're struggling as me, just press and it will show you a nice instruction uh, section to build the storage click on the empty area select the industry tab select the storage from the available buildings and all right that's what we're going to do but first let's take a look at where are we we are at the way this is the central you got the cascade that's another section we can also start at that point or haven water or we could generate a complete new level it'll take a little bit of time at least i think so no, there it is. Titan and split. I don't like this one. Let's see what do we have. That one, that one. It's, I think it's the same one. I guess it's generating. Yes, it's using the same few sections. All right, so I guess we. Yeah, we're going to start. Well, one more try. Unity, yes, this is one I like. A little bit more space. And we got a negative proceed, but that's logical. Let's build the storage. So to build the storage, we need to go and take a look, a look where we're we going to build it. I kind of want to build it here. Let's take a look. Industrial, that's what it told us. And then we choose a location. And then somehow the storage building is dropped on by a beautiful spaceship. Man, this looks amazing. The graphics in this game, it is an early alpha and it is an indie game. But oh man, they, they did a great job in this game. They really did. Alright, so we get a little reward. Look at that spaceship. I can enjoy that spaceship a long, long way. Man, that's amazing. Alright. We get a little reward, we get some credits, and the credits goes to Unity because we are on that platform. Now we need to build a landing platform. And, well, I kind of want to do it on this side, so let's go landing platform. We can also do that one, but I kind of want to do stick out. Uh, you can kind of do it any way you want. Oh, almost any way. Yes, this does need, need a little foothold. Alright. This will take them some time to build. Uh, well, we need to build a few houses. I personally, bus station. There are a lot of beautiful housings. Medium resident, that's a big one. It's, it's for 50 to tenants. I like personally like this one got a little stick and these don't they also take they don't take much power but I don't like the look of them so let's do this historical got one stick yeah let's do the distant 13 tenants and I guess I kind of want to zoom in you can zoom in with the plus button and we're also going to move around
All right, let's build. We need to build 15. Medium construction completed. So we're going to build like three houses. And in the meantime, I am going to look a little bit around because those houses are being built. Look at the platform. I really like the look of this game because you can zoom out a lot. You can see all your platforms like the waterfall. They really look nice. You got like the trees growing at the side. It really looks great. These are like the classic houses. So you can, can go kind of any way and I suspect that people will definitely uh, build their own houses in the communities on Steam for this. So that, that's a big plus for this game. I'm kind of going to speed up time a little bit. As you can see here in the middle, we only got city prestige at plus 24 and we need to build that up. Because we need to build a lot more stuff. We kind of need... Ooh, a guardian monument. Also looks nice. We need to do some food. That's definitely something we need. Water extraction. We need power. So I'm already going to... No, I don't want that one. I kind of want this one. I like the look on the corner. Don't know if people like that. Small construction completed. As you can see, you can upgrade the city or the houses, give more prestige. I guess we uh, we already did that. Didn't want to do that, but oh well. Tiny construction completed. Tiny construction completed. I hope I don't get in trouble with the uh, metal in the end because, well, we're kind of low on it now. Small construction completed. New citizens arrived. Now, the Objective fun part completed. with this game is that you can Small also go completed. into tourist mode and we can kind of walk. In between, Small construction completed. and we can Small see the people. And let me show slow down the speed uh, down again. I can go trying through all the buildings. So that's ooh. And if you want to go out of this mode, you can do that with the tap button. All right, I already like the look of this. All right, we got another reward. Now we need Objective to do. Completed. I already did that one because I knew that one was coming. So that was the one for the power. And now we need a battery station. I kind of want to have the battery station in this section. And let's see, where is the battery station? That's the one. Choose location. New citizens arrived. And let's turn it a little bit around. Yeah, there, there's battery going. And in the meantime, because I did try this game a few runs to see how it runs and if everything goes smooth, I know for the tutorial we need to build a battery station and we need to charge two batteries. And after that, we need to do something Small with construction completed. the water. But first, let's take a look at the power, because you can choose a wide range of stuff. You can do, like, only go air. You can go with air purifications if you go, like, the uranium and you go to uranium mines. Lightning bolt rod. And the fun thing is in the corner, I specifically choose two wind and two solar, because in the bottom you got, like, a wind power. It's charging, and we got 18 sun power. And if we look here, it's charging the batteries. And in the bottom right corner, you see the charging power and it will charge your uh, batteries. So if you got more battery charging power, it will charge faster. So it's, it's a perfect combination in this game. And it's all working together. So you got a climate controls in this, uh, in this uh, game. You got weather system that is adjustable. So you got wind. 
you got the sun, the day, the night cycle, and when it's getting dark, as you can see, wind is getting larger part, and we are running on batteries now. So we only got two batteries charged. Do we have two batteries charged? No, we don't have two batteries charged. No, we only have one. So we're running in the minus now. All right, let's let's slowly go ahead and do the next thing. We need a water station. I'm going to choose the location I kind of like. That these two are kind of nice connected to each other. And uh, let's zoom a little bit in. And do this way. I don't know if there's like elevators or that, that kind of stuff yet, but we'll have to find that out. Because I only did the few things in the tutorial. And that was kind of it. Medium construction completed. So that will do the water extraction. We still need a better recharge. So I'm going to build a few more solar panels because I feel it's going a little bit too slow. And I want one more of the Darius Turbine. Small construction completed. Alright, so now that this is Small going, construction completed. we should see construction production completed. go up a bit. As you can see, we got like zero wind now, but we do have 45 sun power, 45 fun sun power, so that's... Tiny construction completed. And the required energy for charging. This is going to take a little time, so let's speed up time again. As you can see here, we change the acceleration, we can pause. Alright, didn't know that one. Like the, the little detail that they put into the game. So now that we got the battery charge, we are going for the water extraction and it needs to charge or make at least uh, extract free water. And we'll slowly do that. And the next thing after that, we need food. All the basic things we. Objective completed. Underwater indoor crop field. Interesting. So you can build like underwater. That's that's pretty nice. But we are going to do it this way. Now I kind of want to extend this road. So let's take a look if we can do that. You can do a lot of things. You can build a market, central bank. Uh, hotel, entertainment system, large office buildings, we can do maintenance sensor, large e construction even do completed. defensive tourists, uh, missile silos, and a wall rocket. That's interesting. Oh man, let's slow down the game a little bit. Six speed, one speed. So, what is next? Now we need the material because we are using a lot of metal. And we're almost out. Large construction completed. So the next thing we need is a matter extraction. Choose. I'm going to build like two. And how many people do we have? We got 32 workspaces, but we've got like 30 people and 30 nice houses. So we kind of need more people. Let's build one more house. I like the classic historical look. As you can see, the other one I accidentally upgraded is a little bit bigger now, but also changed the sign. It's only changing the sign, so it's not 
Nothing else. Hmm, I was expecting because I can also upgrade these things. They will give you more voice space, more extraction power. That kind of stuff, but the housing does not. Large construction completed. Alright, they need to Large construction extract completed. better. We still have enough power, so that's a good thing. Big problem will become the people, I guess, in soon in the near future. So as I mentioned, this game is early alpha and it feels like a full game, so I definitely don't feel like this is an early alpha or even an indie game. This could be a triple A game. And it got like a dynamic climate system. It got Objective 48 completed. research already in the game, but I expect them to extend a lot more. Alright, so we did this and now we have to get more citizens. And I was already expecting that because I was kind of low on... on the people and I also wanted to look at how the roads being built so we can build like nice little roads I wonder if this is kind of the same no it's not the same I wonder if I can upgrade that later on so these are kind of roads It's not like you can cross them over. Let's first build this one and after that we'll see if we can upgrade it because I don't like the look of it. But maybe it's just me and I don't know if the roads are even functional in this game. Almost done. Come on, come on. How much batteries do we have? We have zero batteries, so we definitely need more battery charging because we are using a lot of that. So let's also build more. Or we could just upgrade this. Tiny construction completed. Hmm. All right, I don't see the use of this, but well. We'll definitely have to see that in the near future. So, people, social transport is great facility. The movement around the city for the citizen use. Personal drones are produced in the airport hangar. All right. Interesting. All right. We're kind of waiting for this house to finish, but we need more metal. And that's where these guys come in. So I'm definitely going to upgrade one. And they upgrade immediately, so that's kind of nice. Track more debris. And I also want to upgrade this one, but that one is not able to upgrade. Can we also upgrade that? No. No, I kind of need more of the battery production. One thing is, it's a nice round square building, so it'll fit nicely over there. Let's speed it up again because, well, I need the matter. We need like one more matter. But now we're using the matter for that one, so finally construction completed. And more alive. people coming in. So they're coming in with every fifteen people, Objective so completed. that's good to know. Build a town square, so yeah, we can do that. Let's see. Small construction completed. Town uh, small garden. Wait a second, square. It's in the business, alright. Well, that's why I couldn't find it. Uh, business, business. Ok, 
kind of funny because you cannot turn the roads. Well, maybe that will come in the near future. Or I haven't found out how to do that yet. Because... Um, recycling plant... Oh man, there's Large so much. Construction completed. Because, well, Objective I kind of want to connect it, but that's me being a building guy. Build a maintenance center. Uh, Alright, so for the security we need a maintenance center. This tutorial is quite thorough. Uh, where are we going to put the maintenance center? Because it doesn't look aesthetically pleasing. Yeah, let's put the maintenance building over there. And let's speed up again because that's this is just taking time. Now let's see if we got like batteries. Production nothing. Nothing. Hmm. We kinda need one more building, I guess. Oh we should just build a big one. These houses are expensive though. As you can see, the people are using the roads, so that's a good thing. Alright. Food is being stolen. That's kind of interesting. Alright, so we need police. We definitely need police. Medical, pharmaceutical, schools, court, town hall. Where's the police? Capital. Large office, marketplace, shield generator, <laughs> floating maintenance. This one is also nice. Medium construction right. completed. Next thing, build a Objective 3D completed. printing facility. What is a 3D building facility? At a 3D printing facility, you can. Huge universal metal to create engine furnaces. All right. Tiny oh. construction completed. That is nice. And I guess we are going to again. Food has been stolen. So we got a little bit of trouble going on, and I must say I really am going to enjoy this mini series. So let's slow down. Take a look at what we've done so far, because we are. I'm, have a feeling I'm not even halfway in the tutorial because I haven't seen research yet and that kind of stuff but that's something we are going to see in the next episode I really hope you guys love this new concept on my channel if you do leave a like and uh, definitely tell me what you think of this game because I think it looks amazing it the simplicity and the graphical astonishing is is really great I enjoy it and I hope you guys did as well. So put it in the comment down below and see you in the next Indie Wednesday.